Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm gonna send out the link real quick. Tweet about that. So I got a big HLJ box sitting next to me that I figured, eh, I could open in a, uh, in a live stream, you know. So I'm gonna open this HLJ box here. I'm not gonna stay long. I got some things I gotta work on, but I figured this could be fun. So I'm gonna tweet this out real quick. How's everyone doing today? All right, there we go. Link has been tweeted out. So we got eight people watching. That's awesome. Thank you all so much for showing up. Uh, I see Power Rider in the chat and uh, Ranger15 in the chat. So thank you guys for for stopping in. Um we got five people watching, two likes already. Yeah, thank you, thank you guys. Um, so RJ Styles is here. Finally, have Kim and Slayer. I just need Dragon to have all the one per case. Nice. Um, if you haven't gotten him yet, I I've seen him popping up uh, in stock back and forth on Amazon. I know other places. I think have him for pre order. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store comes to mind. Uh, but he might be a little easier than... It seems like right now the, the hardest one per case to get is uh, uh, MMPR Yellow from Wave 4. Uh, she seems to kind of be the hardest one at times, uh, even though they just did a restock of her not too long ago, actually. But, yeah, <laughs> it seems pretty pretty difficult to get her. Um, so, where did I put my cutters? There we are. Because so I'm going to need these. BBTF has them. Oh, you have them on Yellow Books a Million. Nice. I've heard they've actually had a pretty decent selection. A, a friend of mine, a local friend of mine, went to our nearest one a couple weeks back, and they had Wave uh, Wave Five on the shelves, I think. So they were pretty current uh, nearby me, which is which is nice. So don't kill me for saying Rand. Fair comrade. Rand's great. Is that uh, is that night? Is that comrade at night? Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I think I might be wrong. Um, if so, yeah, Knight's awesome. Um, yeah. So, what do I got ready to go here today? So, I got this. It's not even heavy. It's just big. So, we got... Ah, oh, Kenzon. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Speaking of Kenzon, some of his goodies are in here. So, we got this big box from HLJ. I forgot Kenzon was named Ren. I'm still, like, learning everyone's names. I'm at that part of the show where it's like, oh, you're... Your blades and stuff like that. Uh, I know Toma and uh, other people's names. <laughs> I'm bad with, with names. I, I can't even get names good in person, let alone in a TV show. So, oh, wow, we got 11 people watching. Wow, thank you guys all for showing up. I really appreciate it. Um, to pre prep for what's in there, we got the sword driver nearby, and we got my Zet Riser nearby so you probably can then assume what's in the box there are 11 things in here uh all new stuff so let's dive in oh this is fun all right so like hlj likes to do we have it all on a little platter a whole platter of stuff. So you know, there's a lot of saber in here, uh, obviously. Uh, there's there's some Zet there too. This is mostly going to be saber goodies. So I'm just gonna. Where am I gonna break open the bag? There we go. I guess we can start with this because it's right on the top. But we have Soto. Saber Book One, uh, featuring featuring heavily Common Rider Zero One. So this set has uh, Saber and Blades from Saber, and then it has Hell Rising Hopper from the new uh, Zero One movie that isn't out yet. I don't know why my camera is not focusing on this, but okay. <laughs> um, and Comrade to Eden from the movie, and the Fighting Jackal Raider from the the show, not from the movie. So. 
this is that. Uh, you get 10 boxes to make up the five figures. So, yep, this is the full complete box of Soto Saber Book 1 featuring a lot of Zero One. So, let's see here. We've got a bunch of Wonder Ride books all stacked up in a little tower. So, we got Storm Eagle on the top. Needle Hedgehog. This is the Geo Advent Calendar. The Decayed Travel Log. Tenku no Pegasus. That's all the individual ones, but that's not it for Wonder Eyed books because, of course, we have a Spada's uh, Aladdin one with the emblem for the sword driver. And then which one's this one? Okay, this one is the Ride Watch, Ride Watch, Ride Book Handama uh, bookshelf, which has the Zero One book, which you can see right there. And then we have a Handama that doesn't have a Zero One book, so that way we can have two bookshelves. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure I'll probably get more. And that's it for the Saber stuff. And we just have this little this little haul of Zet stuff, which you can probably assume what it is. The vinyl for Zet Delta Rise Claw, and the medals for Zet Delta Rise Claw. So, now we're all caught up on most of this stuff. And now there's just a whole tower of stuff behind me that I have to try to figure out how to move everything around. Because we're going to open some of this stuff for now. But I, I want to take a little like group photo for all this stuff. So let's see what are people saying. I want in space so bad in the lightning. Uh, I hope we get more in space. We are getting a pretty decent amount uh, so far. Especially with like Astronomer and In Space Red coming out pretty soon. And stuff like that. What else? Uh, MMPR Black got pushed back. Oh, dang, that sucks. I have seen that they've been not the greatest in getting, especially Wave 6. And uh, all that stuff. Um, the Spiral Mode, Booster Mode. Yeah, that would have been cool. But to be fair, I feel like uh, uh, In Space Red could come out again very easily in you know a standalone release because we all know hasbro has been all for that so it's possible that he'll get like a standalone release someday and have that but yeah delta rise claw got dropped down to seven. Oh dang that sucks the the metals were 13 on japan that's kind of expensive um hey marcus lee what's up um marky c what did I miss? Uh, basically, I just opened up a bunch of a box of a bunch of Wonder Eye books and stuff, which I'm actually going to take a haul photo with real quick for my Twitter. Um, did I pick up Wave Seven yet? Uh, no, I did not, and I very much want it. I have it on pre-order. Wave Seven is going to be expensive endeavor. I have three Z Putties on pre-order: Dino Thunder Red and Mighty Morphin Green. I have it pre-ordered between two different stores between Target and Hasbro Pulse. And I'm waiting for the Spectrum boxes. Uh, all that stuff. It's I don't. I hope I get it soon. Um, I don't think I'm going to get Wave 7 for at least another month, I would imagine, unfortunately. But uh, let's see. Uh, I heard people say Kenzon looks terrible. I disagreed. I actually think Kenzon looks really cool. Um, his... Uh, his... Uh, what am I trying to think of here? His uh, sword, like the shuriken sword, I think looks really cool. Um, his tension device. Uh, let's see. Just going to tweet this picture real quick. There we go. So that is tweeted out. So what did I buy, Chris? What's up, Tommy Lulu? What's up, Chris? Uh, I got a lot of stuff. Uh, I haven't opened any of it yet, but we got the bookshelf. In the bookshelf with the book. So we got those. We got Soto Saber 
or Soto zero one set eleven featuring a little bit of saber. Uh, let's see, we got Geo, Hedgehog, Decayed, Pegasus, and Eagle books, and then we got Delta Rise Claw medals and vinyl. So that's all. That's oh, and a Spada emblem in book. So I'm sorry, Chris. I know. I was just too eager. I've had this box sitting on the floor for a while, but I was working on a bunch of stuff yesterday. And I didn't get a chance to open it and all this other stuff. But by the way, now that I have them all lined up, this looks really... I'm going to drop Pegasus. It's going to fall. I'm just going to let it fall. This looks really pretty, though. The fact that they like look at books, look at books, look like books at the side, uh, which makes sense because they're books, but I just think it looks really pretty. Uh, let's see. Any progress on your buy order? No. <laughs> I have... I have the, uh... The, what did I buy from there? The Rube Metals. They've been sitting in there for over a month. Uh, almost... It's been like a month and a half now, actually. I just have never bothered to ship them because it'd be too expensive. And I'm waiting to see if I can ever find a Fuma Metal on there. Because Mandarake is just never getting Fuma Metals in. Uh, and I know that like the second I ship out the rube metals is when that's going to show up. And, uh, yeah. So <laughs> books look like books, Josh Berry. Yep. That's what, that is exactly what I said. That was a, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm tired. Uh, what can I start with here? What should I start with here? Uh, naturally, I guess we could start with the bookshelf since I have a lot of books to put on it and I lost my cutters again. Uh, the Leto card is a, basically a lost cause. Like, it, basically, Leto card and the Gashapon medals are like never happening. Uh, Titus and Fuma medal. Yeah, I, I got Titus. I just... Fuma is the only candy toy medal that I don't have. And it's... This is a weird box. I didn't expect like a box within a box. Um, yes, I did. The yeah, Espada sets right here. So I, I basically have most of the Saber stuff, kind of. Uh, I didn't get Kenzon and Buster's swords because I don't have the money to ship something like that uh, right now, uh, especially with DHL. I didn't get... There's like a thousand Legend Rider books that have come out in like five seconds that I just... Speaking of Legend Rider books, here's the first one. I never got the Zero One trio of candy toy and promotionals. So. So there's the Zero One book, the AI development record, which looks really cool with all the concept forms, or uh, concept art of there. Uh, that it's a little jingle you heard there was the standby from the zero driver i think that's really neat so all right catching up on more comments here am i gonna get calibers driver i would like to um usually i wait and get the main series driver at christmas uh with christmas money but this year i decided not to and got it early so I, i'll have some of that christmas money to spend and so i'm probably gonna get the uh, calibers stuff then uh because i figured that makes sense uh let's see final episode of g so in terms of my ultraman watching i'm still only watching zet which i'm a little behind on <laughs> and uh but i'm waiting for toku shoutsu to put up the whole ton of past shows that they're putting up next month so actually pretty soon here. Uh, I do intend on watching Jeed next and then other things. So as I assemble a bookshelf here. Uh, yeah, so Calibur's Belt does read the books as the with, as the villains, which is what sold me on wanting that belt now. Not that I didn't want it before, but like now I was like, and eh, now I actively need to get that thing. Uh, I, I was curious what the Decayed one was going to say, so I, I thought it was really cool that it did say Die Shocker, which makes sense, but like since all the villain groups kind of showed up in uh, 
in uh, Decade, I didn't know like you know which one they would pick, I guess. But of course, Spy Shocker does make the most logical sense. All right, so we have pieces of a bookshelf. Oh, okay, so that's like the bottom and the top. I get how this works. So I've heard great things about Orb. I've heard great things about Jeed. How do I build? Is this the same exact piece? Wait, hold on. This is the back. This is the side. Yep. Okay. Wait, hold on. I got this. Nope. Is that upside down? I can figure this out. This is a little bit more complex than the Daiza was from uh, that one show, Geo. Why couldn't I think of that at first? All right. So just kind of latch these in somehow. Kind of. Yeah, I know. If only you included a little paper that told me what I was doing. You know, Chris, I can just figure it out because that's what I do. Hold on, though. Ah, I see what's happening here. I can't read. Or, yeah, well, we knew that. We all knew that. Let's see. Where did the paper go? Here it is. Here's the instructions. I did watch Chris's review of it, and I still don't remember how to put it together. All right. That makes sense. Yeah, because it's going to stack. And that, yeah. I got it. I'm figuring this out. These pieces are really finicky, though. Oh, don't. Where are you going? Oh. Would you look at that? These were like us two pieces on the sides like that. Man. What trickery. Anyway. Do I have this upside down again? Probably. This is like, oh, this is backwards. This is embarrassing. <laughs> no, okay. Foolproof got it now. I definitely understand what's happening. So, see, this is the kind of quality that you get when I live stream. Chris just has, like, his giant shelf of stuff behind him and can, like, just, you know, chat and figure out how things work. And I just kind of sit here and fumble around. All right. So what's, what's the top piece? Are you the top piece? Oh, yeah, you are. Okay. So we have successfully built one bookshelf. <laughs> so, uh, Tommy, I got one extra, one extra bookshelf set. So I'll have enough for 12 books altogether. So this is kind of like, not loose, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's going to stay together, but. Uh, Wonder Red books are about 10 bucks or so. Yeah, pretty much. So, and then we can take the zero one book and we can just slot it in there. Oh, I know what we can do now. If you don't want the book to activate all the time, you can just take the roof off and put them in there. I mean, the roof makes it better, but I do, I, I really like this idea of having a bookshelf for these because I think that's just really fun. Um, but I am not a fan of it constantly making the books activate. So I don't have the lid all the way on. Oh, man. Of course I don't. Oh, I put the, the lid on backwards. That's why. There we go. <laughs> now it's fine. And now this will activate. There we go. Oh, I like the end of this, the, uh, the grasshopper's ability from the progress key when you click that. So there we go. Full proof. Know exactly what I'm doing now. And then I can take, we got Peter Fantasista and Lion Senki. And we can just put in there. And you have this beautiful little bookshelf. So I, ha I have enough bookshelf here now to have one for all of the books that I currently have and the ones that are in here. So now we get this thrilling task of building another bookshelf. But since that went just so well, 
the last time. We're just going to hold off on building the bookshelf, you know? Because, you know, we'll build it later. Besides, you've seen it once. You can assume what it looks like with four of them. It's going to look like four of them. All right. What can we open now? I'm not going to probably open everything. I'm definitely not assembling this yet because this will take forever. So, yes, I can put all of Blades' books on a shelf. Now that I have all three of his books. But we'll just show this off real quick. Of course, this is just the complete set, so you just get one of each of them. But you get Saber, Blades, Hell Rising Hopper, Eden, and the Jackal Raider. So I'll probably sticker those up during the RR uh, post show on Friday night. So I want to check out some of these Legend Rider books. Um, if I move all this stuff out of the way, let's open up Geos. So, yeah, so I'm going to need to get, uh, I have, I, I'm not, I don't have all the books on pre-order yet. I have Decayed, no, I have Decayed right there. I have Gaim and Build. Those two on pre-order. And I intend on getting the third red one and the third yellow one when those come out next month for Saber and Espada. I have every ride watch. I don't. I'm still missing actually quite a bit of them because all I have missing now are pretty much all of the premium ones. So, speaking of ride watches though, So that is the Geo book. So this is, I love how the cover has Waz's uh, book there, which actually I have from at To Collectibles contest a couple months ago. I have the notebook of Waz's book. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, this is a creative, I mean, it was a creative one to do it this way. And you have like this little chibi Geo. So I like that a lot. And we'll open up Decayed. So will I get the Three Little Pigs one? Um, not yet. I don't have any purpose of needing that belt. Um, and who's that go to? Is it technically a Kenzon book? I think so. Because it's green. Yeah, so it would be a Kenzon. But I know he's going to use it. I think he's using it this weekend, I think. It was in the promo shots. Oh, speaking of this weekend, I'm terrified for Saturday when... Bandai unleashes their uh, CSM and Goku driver stuff on us because that's going to be what are they going to do? <laughs> it's going to be so expensive, I'm sure. Uh, and I love Gaim a lot. And I'm going to want it. It's going to be bad. Uh, we have Decayed, which has him holding the camera and the the nine worlds behind him. So, yep, Decay, Geo, and Zero One are the three Legend Rider books I got. Uh, Tommy asked if I'm going to get the CSM Gaim. I don't know. <laughs> I Basically, it comes down to, like, basically, like, the... Because CSMs always, like, pump the thing filled with voice phrases, because that's what they love doing. So I could maybe see that, like, voice phrases for what faceplate you have on. That actually... Yeah, I could definitely see that now. But we're going to put the three Legend Rider books in here. Actually, bef before we do that, I should actually probably change the emblem. Because I have the best emblem ever. It's a lightning bolt. So we know why I love that. Come out of a spot for the win. Oh no, the stream froze. Am I alive now? I'm not surprised that it froze. This is the channel where lightning strikes twice. Speaking of, here's a lightning bolt. And an Aladdin book. So let's change the emblem real quick. So there we go. Now it is... 
the spot is emblem. No, it looks nice and cool. It's a very, like, it doesn't sit flush on the ground. It's always going to make it, like, have a tilt, which is kind of strange, but... So... So I'm going to put in... Who goes where? You're a f end book. You're a center book. You're also an end book, but I do what I want. So we're going to put the... Yep. I like his uh, standby a lot. So we're going to put uh, the three Legend Rider books in here. So full disclosure, I have no idea what that set at all. The only things that I caught from that were Legend Rider. Ooh, it's like glowing the three different colors. That's really pretty. Um, Legend Rider, and then when it said the names of them. So, <laughs> but these look cool. Uh, just having the images there and their swords. Uh, Geo has his sword. Decade has his. So also, is that their gimmicks up there? No. Decade just has. Oh, Decade has the slash card. Oh, that's cool. The attack ride slash card. So, and then the other one has the the hopper blade too, since he has two swords. So, I mean, the Legend Rider books are pretty basic on the inside, just having that rider's sword and then just a picture of them. But it does look cool when you line up a couple of them together like that. I don't think there's really any that have special combinations. Uh, it just the sword, the driver just knows which ones you put in there, and that's really about it. Um, but except for like the three special zero one ones, those do something together. But you know it's different, so you know it, it's neat. I, I definitely do like it. So that is the three legend ride books that I have right now, and I do plan on getting a couple more. Uh, Gaim and Build for sure. I really want Drive and X Aids, so I might pick them up. It just depends. So I think the last thing we'll do since they're both basically right here is we'll just change yeah we get it we'll just change it to blades since i have his third book here in this form where it's all three of them just debuted i didn't watch this week's episode yet but i saw you know how twitter is i saw all the clips of it already anyway so Let's see, you're the Tenku no Pegasus. Actually, well, it's right here. Here's the three Blade, Blades books together. So, Lion Senki, Peter Francisista, and Tenku no Pegasus. So, that looks nice. Then we can take them out here. And make just all the noises. We get it. All right. That in there. Alright. No, I didn't mean to do that. So we're going to start with the finisher, which makes logical sense. I know, Megadon. It's just a very chatty toy. So there we go. So we have the like complete image of blades here with the three, the three uh, blue books, which does look really cool when you complete the whole thing. So yeah, I'm happy that I have all three of them now. Obviously. So do I like a spot? I definitely do. I like all the riders. Um, 
Well, I don't really care for Kenzon's character. Like a ton, but you know, they're all fine. Uh, can't wait for Soto to do Fantastic Lions. Soto is actually pretty behind, uh, surprisingly, because like they're usually pretty on top of it. I think it's just because Saber's been introducing a thousand uh, different uh, arm swaps that they can't keep up. So hopefully they like, kind of get caught up here soon. Because yeah, there's there's a bunch of stuff for them to do. They still have to do all of the eagle stuff, all of the um, uh, what even else? The Arthur Hedgehog. They haven't even done Buster and Kenzon yet, so I'm, we'll probably get them first, I would imagine, or maybe. I'm not sure what they'll do. Also, you know, they got to get the obligatory zero one figure in there too. Uh, yeah, book two got delayed to November. Uh, and so f I can't remember if we Corey would know if we have the full lineup or not. I can't remember if we have the full lineup or if we don't, we're close. Uh, and it has Naki from zero one, it has Caliber, Aspada, and the Jack and the Beanstalk arm for Saber. So I never, for I never remember that they taped this together just a straight line. They're like, yep, that is our efficient way of packaging these medals. Oh, so we got the Delta Rise Claw medals, which is Jeed Primitive, Zero Beyond, and Belial Atrocious. So, thank you for stopping by Green Wolf Games. Thank you. I just dropped one of them, though. There we go. I got it. It was Belial Atrocious, or however it says it. So we got the good old metal case, which we can test these out real quick. Probably won't be going on here for too much longer. So how big is my private warehouse? That cleared it. This box cleared it. Um, so there's nothing in there right now. There's a lot of stuff on pre-order. But my next shipment will be in November with Gaiman Build Books. The third red book, the third yellow book, Soto Gaim 1, the four EX metal sets. I think that's it. And then December is the Grateful, Grateful, Great and Powered uh, Ultra Vinyls. And then February, I just pre ordered yesterday, Soto Gaim 2. So looking forward to that. So we can do Delta Rise Claw. we go so delta rise claw so yes yeah, io journey tri servers yeah i i knew Asada's was tri servers i just I could not remember what sabers was uh is regular g going to come out yes he is in ex metal set one yeah i mean he's one of the four i think it's the first one uh the one that has uh all of zero's friends basically <laughs> and uh Ultimate Zero? Ult no, not Ultimate Zero. Shining Zero. So, <laughs> it's Belial Atrashus. Yeah. I don't know why it says that so weirdly. Um, actually, I was curious. Yeah. It's basically the same gold color as the promotional Jeed and Zero Metal, which makes sense. But now adding Delta Rise Claw in there. So, well, technically 34, because right here, this is an extra Ultraman. Everything else is a unique metal, so we're doing we're doing pretty okay. Um, of course, there are the thousands of metals on the way because there's so many coming out. Uh, I don't know when Collectibles is shipping out Dash Upon Three. Uh, it's been out for like two weeks, and me and Chris and Rye bought it from them 
I don't know where that is. <laughs> so hopefully Gashapon 3 shows up at some point. Because uh, I want the medals on there. And what, Gashapon 4 is in uh, December. Gashapon 5 and 6 are a thing eventually. Uh, so we'll just continue to keep digging this hole in my wallet that is these uh, Ultra Medals. But, you know, they look really pretty in there. And I am happy that that is a thing that we're continuing to collect. So, oh, there's still a couple things I didn't open. Uh, Storm Hedgehog. Storm Hedgehog? Yeah, that's what it is. Storm Eagle and Needle Hedgehog. I just combined them together. I guess when you use them together, it'd be Storm Hedgehog. But, uh, yeah, let's... I'll stop opening things for now. It's been already 40 minutes somehow. Uh, but we have 16 people watching, which thank you. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, I, I'll wrap it up here pretty soon. Some more things to get done. Uh, I hope you guys, if you didn't see, I posted episode zero of the Lightning Library this afternoon, which is this new history series I'm doing about the Lightning Collection. I'm hoping to get uh, episode one out, which you'll be covering wave one uh, tomorrow instead of next Wednesday, uh, because the intro video is already delayed a week later than I wanted it to be. Um, I've just been busy with a lot of stuff. So I'm hoping to have the wave one video out tomorrow. It also does look like books. That is that is very true, Chris. It does look like books. Um, so I'm hoping to have the wave one video out tomorrow. Uh, and then we'll just continue for next week. Wednesdays would be the Comic Con Jason two pack because we're I'm going to go in release order, so uh, from last year. So yeah, that's the Lightning Library that will be happening every Wednesday, and then Lightning Storm every Saturday like usual. And then of course I would love to make more other Toku videos. It just seems like the Lightning Collection ones do the, the best views on the channel. Um, so obviously I'm going to keep doing those. Uh, but, of course, I would love to do videos on all this Saber stuff and on the Ultraman stuff and things like that. I kind of was thinking about maybe doing a video about uh, the movie and stuff news that broke yesterday. Um, so maybe I'll do something about that sometime soon. Uh, you're going to run out of library videos quick. I, I thought that, but then I, I structured it out. And if I do this every Wednesday... Um, uh, at that current pace, it will last me through like March or April. So <laughs> it actually will last a pretty decent amount of time. And by then more stuff will be out. So that actually might be sustainable for a little bit, but you're right. It's not going to last like forever. Uh, so, but that will be a relatively temporary, I guess, until we get caught up. But uh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Just got Lightning Library and Storm on the way. It's never over. That's right, Tommy. That is right. Um, I got to watch this week. I'm two episodes behind on Zet. This week, I, I only need to watch this week's Saber. And I'm like five episodes behind on Cure Major now. It's bad. It's really bad. Uh, I'll, I'll try to get caught up like tomorrow or something. How do I feel about the Bioman mini plot? Uh, I think it looks really cool. Um, Bio Robo and Bio Dragon are some of my favorite of like the older '80s uh, Sentai mech. Uh, gr granted, I love all the ones that kind of have like that big, like carrier ship kind of thing. Um, so that I think that looks awesome. Uh, of course, I'm not buying it or anything. It's too expensive for me. Um, they did tease that uh, Shoto uh, Bio Hunter Silva, so uh, that was interesting. I'm, I'm curious. I wonder if that may be all they do, or if they actually will do a Shoto Super Bio Man. Uh, or it'd be really cool if they did both, but we'll see what happens with that. Uh, the only thing you got to watch this week is the Frosties. That is so true. Uh, this week is the finale for uh, on <laughs> RR the Streets. This is the finale of the Kellogg's BMX Track Wars 2, episode 6 of 6. It's been in my YouTube recommended all week, and I'm ready to go. Uh, we're, only like tw we're only like two days away from that happening. So, you know, the big finale, the uh, RR will never be the same afterward and uh let's see uh, i hope hasbro makes a zane and psycho silver two pack so do i i think that is uh actually that's a good segue um i do plan on doing another uh, video sometime in the next month or so kind of just going over what i predict hasbro might do in 2021 
uh, based off of just like molds that they can still get more mileage out of, uh, like Psycho Silver, because they can definitely repaint that to be Psycho Silver. And now that we're getting In Space Red, we have the male space mold, so they could definitely do In Space Silver. So that's a two pack I think would be really like a no brainer, because uh, it's a two pack of two, the rest would just be painting it. So that would be pretty simple for them to do. Even uh, Tom's box art would be pretty simple. He pretty much just have to go in there and Photoshop the colors on the box art. Uh, I pray for everyone this weekend with the CSM Gaim stuff. Absolutely. I think it's going to be... I don't even know. I think it's going to be horrible in terms of just how much it's going to cost and what they're going to drop on us. The fact that they tease this to be a multi-year project or like a long-term project or whatever uh, is very scary because... Gaim has a lot of lock seeds and a lot of riders that they can do. Uh, not to mention, you know, not even just the Sengoku driver. You could get the Genesis driver and all this other stuff. So that would be insane. Um, let's see. I feel like Time Force Pink would be the only one to get their own V cannons. I could see that because um, she kind of had like a pretty important one. Um, I hope Time Force Pink happens soon because she's one that I know people really want. Let's see what else. Like the new video. Thank you, S. Skittles. Uh, it'd be cool if one day you can interview Tom about the box art. I would love to do that. And I actually have been thinking about that. Uh, Tom does follow my Lightning account. So, like, technically I could DM him. But, like, it's always one of those things where it's like, I don't want to be like, yo, Tom, you know, I'm a huge fan. Let's talk or whatever. Like, I just, I, I, I don't know how. I would love to get in contact with him or something like that because because i also don't want him to think that like i'm trying to get information out of him about like what figures he's done art on because like he clearly can't disclose that so and i don't i'm not trying to do that so but i would love to talk to him about just the process of you know how long in advance that he is told about them and things like that i'm just curious about his box art's fantastic uh i love it so much um Let's see what else we got going on in the chat here before I wrap this up. I'll probably just kind of stay here for another minute or so because I do have some things I should be doing, but I wanted to open this box because <laughs> it was really tempted, tempting. So just do it your coward. Oh, I know, Chris. Um, I know I should. So I, I'll, I will. I'll, I'll reach out to him at some point, um, but I just don't know when. So uh, you're right. He would, he would not wimp out. He, he, guest shooter would stand up and just get it done. Uh, I'm getting in space yellow next Thursday. Nice. That's a really good figure. I think that's a, hopefully your helmet is relatively aligned. Uh, I need to, speaking of wave six, I got to watch Chris's review of it. I saw he posted it yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Uh, it's in my watch later. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, what else? I really like this lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> like like if you, that wasn't obvious. Uh let's see. So what what's lightning storm gonna be about this weekend? Because like nothing has really happened. So that's kinda always kind of what I've been afraid about is that like we're gonna get those weeks where like nothing happens and I don't really know what I'm gonna do a video about. Uh, I could talk about wave nine stuff, I guess, for the hundredth time. I've talked about it a hundred times, but since people were talking about Wave 8 last week, I could like do a kind of a refresher or something. Um, oh, yeah. Has, customer service did. The, <laughs> customer service has emerged from their uh, hiding from everyone to actually contact people again. Uh, let's see. Yep, and Donna Thunder White today. Actually, yeah, I did just see that you uploaded that. I saw, I saw your tweet sharing it right when I was sharing the tweet for this. So... Uh, just stand there and leave the video. That's a, I like that plan. Power Rider, that's a good plan, yeah. Just stand there, have a look at the lightning display, and walk away. So, Oh, good, you got a Scarlet replacement? That's good. <laughs> uh, I got my, uh, speaking of G.I. Joe, I got my Pimp Daddy Destro sitting over here. So I don't really know where I'm putting, and his sunglasses just fell off. But I don't really know where I'm putting him yet. Oh, actually, I did just get Beskar Mandalorian in. Uh, yesterday and apparently next week they're gonna have the target exclusive version of him uh which i would maybe try to get but it is a target exclusive so that's basically 
almost a death sentence <laughs> on trying to get something from a Hasbro exclusive. So we'll see how that actually goes. Uh, Zia Red is a solid figure. So yeah, there's so many problems with uh, paint flaking. Also, Zio Red is weird where his weapons are less painted than uh, Zio Blue's were. Uh, and so is his, his, uh, the white on his butterfly joint on the shoulders. It's not painted as with the white like it was on Blue, which is just weird. Uh, I, I guess giving Tommy his sword was, you know, cut the paint budget, I guess, or something. It was weird. But yeah, they do have that problem. I was doing... Um, I was filming stuff with the Wave One figures for my video the other day, and that the the black paint on Dino Charge Red Sword, like there's so many like black streaks and even yellow streaks from the Morpher, just in his glove, and it looks horrible uh, for just like the past year of doing that. So, am I going to buy any Wave Eight up from eBay? Well, no, I'll, I'll just for pre-order it whenever it goes up. Um, same thing with Seven. I, I'm not paying any of those ridiculous prices that uh, people have on eBay right now. I can wait another month. It's not a big deal. Um, I mean, I would obviously like to have it now since so many people have Wave 7 and I'm, I don't. But I, I would rather just wait, especially because I'm spending so much uh, money on Wave 7 anyway with having to buy it twice and, and buying multiple Z-Putties and buying a second Mighty Morphin White to keep in the box. So Wave 7 has already cost me like double the amount of a wave as it is. So <laughs> I just, I'll just get it when I can. Uh, the Spectrum boxes are, is going to be one of those things where I'm sure it's just going to show up one day and I won't be ready or I'll be asleep more than likely. I'll be anything. Uh, my connection just said the stream didn't die. But uh, yeah, same with the Power Sword from MMPR Red. The Power Sword is horrible. Uh, that's why I bought a extra Lightning Collection Power Sword on eBay to have one to permanently keep in the Power Blaster formation so I didn't have to keep taking it in and out and risk, and risk scratching the paint more. Uh, I literally did that <laughs> because I just, yeah, I hate I hate that. Um, so having the same paint issue, but yeah, that makes sense. So hopefully the gold paint wouldn't look as off in his hand since it's like a darker hand than the white gloves because the white gloves really show all of the paint scratching so it's just unfortunate but uh yeah i don't know uh you know i got a couple more things here i just don't feel like opening them right now uh i'll post pictures on twitter later on when i have all of the stuff where because all the saber stuff's supposed to go over there on the shelf so i'll, I'll figure out where it all goes Although, I'll put it all on the shelf, and then I'll have to get it back out again when I do my one-ups on the streets. That's always the problem. I always put everything away, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to do the, <laughs> the one-ups on the streets. That's why I usually just show off the empty boxes for the lightning figures whenever I get lightning figures on the streets, because I just don't feel like taking them off the shelf. It's, it, it'll take, like, five seconds. I just don't feel like doing it. What's my Instagram? Uh, JP Living Ranger Key is my personal one, although I never use it. And Lightning PR is my my main, I guess my main one technically, because I use that one more often. I don't like Instagram like at all. I just don't like its setup. Uh, well, I don't like, but yeah, that and Facebook. I hate that. I don't like those two. Um, but I'll, I use the Instagram pretty much just to post the same thing I post on Twitter. So if you're following my Lightning Twitter, you're getting the you're getting everything I post there. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, that is the Instagram if you want to follow it. I'm somewhat active on it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say. I've been here at least 20 minutes longer than I thought I was going to be um, to kind of just open this box up. So um, I want to thank everyone for, for coming out here to you know be in the live stream. I really appreciate that. It was It's always fun chatting with people and uh, good to see some of my friends there in the chat this afternoon. So, uh, yep. Uh, hopefully the wave one video will be out tomorrow. Uh, I, I just, I don't want to rush it. It should be out. I just, you know, whatever, but we'll see. So that, that should be out tomorrow. Uh, episode zero is up now. Uh, and of course I'll be on Twitter for the rest of the night. So if anyone wants to reach out there, I'm always available. I kind of, <laughs> whenever I check it, 
And, uh, oh, hey, Keyshawn, what's up? Did you just get here at the end? Because you missed a lot of things. We got Keyshawn text me. We got chat. Um, let's see. Yeah, so that's that's uh, that will basically be the the end of that. Um, thank once again, thank you all for coming out, and uh, I will I will see you all eventually, uh, at least on Saturday with uh, Lightning Storm, and pro probably tomorrow with Lightning Library, and then of course Friday on the streets. Don't miss the finale of BMX Track Wars Two. It's it's going to be amazing. So, all right, well, thank you all for stopping in, and uh, I'll see you guys. Later.